डेट एंड टाइम फंक्शन फर्स्ट डेट फंक्शन डेट एम टी पेरेंसिस So by using this function, we can store the system date into the SAS variable. By using this function, we can store the system date into the SAS variable. System date means here this one, 25 November 19. In some case, it is required. By using time function, we can store the system time into the SAS variable. System time means 9:05 p.m. means the 21:05 time. Date time. By using this function, we can store the system date time into the SAS variable. Means combination date and time. 25 November 2019 and 9 hours 5 p.m. That means 21 hours 5. Next one important function intck. By using this function, we can calculate the difference between two date values, time values, and date time values. We can calculate the difference here between the to date values time values and date time values so difference is equals to intck within the course you can specify the interval from date to date means this one minus this one so interval it could be a day a month or year anything okay let's see here This temp data. Today's date. Okay, in this variable, I want to store the system date. In this variable, I want to store the system date. Okay, execute this. I'm using the function date empty parentheses. So it's showing this. Today's date is this one. So two one eight seven eight means machine level language. I want to convert this machine level language into user readable language. So I can use format. This is the today's date, 25 November 2019. Okay, next, uh, temp two. Okay, here, time is equals to time, 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 eight. Okay, in this variable, I want to store the system time. You can see this one. Twenty-one hours, <clears throat> eight minutes, and seven seconds. Hours, minutes, seconds. Like this, we can store the system time in the SAS variable. Okay, in the SAS variable, we can store the system time. Next, uh, <clears throat> DT. Okay, in this variable, I want to store the date time. So I'm using this function, date time empty parentheses. I want to convert machine learning language to user readable language, so I'm using format. Date time twenty that. See, variable name DT. So here it's showing date 25 November 2019 colon and the time 21 hours 9 minutes 0 seconds date time combination like this you can store you can store the system date in a SAS variable you can store the time system time in a SAS variable you can store the system date time in a SAS variable period data is this one. Mm -hmm.
and emp notepad in the d drive so these are the variables implied in name higher date implied in name higher date first of all how to read the data already we discussed in the informats and formats class data emp in file path that is in the d drive uh, name emp dot txt and this is common first row base is equals to two to read the data from second observation to last observation next uh, input employee ID name hide it if writing just like this see the problem here in the high date it will show only null values see, null values because here we have an alpha numeric data it's a numeric variable but here we have an alpha numeric data mixing of numbers characters so directly it won't be possible to read an alpha numeric data in the numeric variable so here we need to use in format format first in format for high date which in format date nine dot format high date date nine dot okay see here <clears throat> you can read and see the data type of higher date here right click on the data set v columns so high date is a number numeric variable so i can use this variable for analysis now okay Now, I have to calculate the difference between two date values. Okay, for these employees, I want to calculate an experience. How to calculate today's date minus this one, so that we can get an experience. Okay, see here, data, employee one, employee. Today's date is equals to date function. Okay. Okay. Now you can create a variable like this. Today's date, and here we can store the system date. Okay. Now I have created this new variable. Today's date. Now I want to calculate an experience. So I have to do like this. This one minus this one. Today's date minus high date. So here I can use this function here. INTCK difference is equals to INTCK interval means you can calculate the difference in the days or months or years. So from date to date, so it will do like this this one minus this one. Okay, here first a day's difference INTCK here day is the keyword. Uh, Higher date, today's date. So it will calculate the difference in the days because interval is day. This one minus this one. Okay, observe here. So this employee scored as exactly this many days of experience, eight thousand seven hundred eight. And this employee John, he has this many, 9059 days. You can convert largely into months also by 30, you can write it like by 365 years. In you can calculate the difference in the months. Okay, see here. A month difference. Means suppose if 29 days completed, it won't show like one month. When 30 days completed successfully, then only it can show month. Suppose 58 days, it shows one month. Means completed months only it will show. So this employee card has this many months of experience. And you can calculate the difference in the years also. 
same thing only successfully completed years suppose if it is uh, 360 days only it shows zero year it suppose it is 585 it shows only one year means successfully completed years So this guy has successfully completed 23 years. Maybe after that, some days also, some months also, maybe. And this employee also has completed successfully 24 years. Days, months, years. Like this, you can calculate the difference between two date values. Two date values. Okay, suppose... Uh, this guy. Company was closed on February 1st, 2017. Because of some problems, company was closed on this date. Now you have to calculate the difference from higher date to this date only, not the system date. Because company was closed on this date. Okay, which is possible. Okay, so here in SAS, if you want to take the date or time or date time values, you have to follow this one. This is the standard date value. You should take the date within the single quotes followed by the keyword D. Suppose this is the date. So take the date within the single code followed by the keyword D. Suppose time. Hours, minutes, seconds. So take within the single quotes followed by the keyword T. T for time. Next, uh, date time. So take within the single quotes date time combination. Date colon time followed by the keyword DT. Date time. You should follow these standards. Now, see this program. Now here, close the date. So when the company is closed, <coughs> this one. So it's in the single quotes, take this one. Followed by the keyword D. Okay, here, format, close date, date, nine dot. This one minus this one. Close the date minus high date. See, employee ID name, high date, and company close date. So this one minus this one. Now this many days of difference, months, years. Yes. 